Welcome back to the Missouri softball complex in Columbia, Missouri. Well, we got to get this chance, okay? We don't want to lose the last home game against Mississippi State Bulldogs today. That's a good idea if you have a snack with you. That's a good idea. And why? Because that's what it's here for. It's 9 2 but she told us all we need is one to get the monkey off our back get everybody feeling loose again you feel that in the ballpark right now bottom of the seven Kylie Edwards showed that energy at second base after that double and Fab Hito man Called off the bench, and she was the one that broke it through. But it was Kylie Edwards, double with one out, that got the rally started. And then Matalasi Fagapito staring on her first pinch hit opportunity of the series. Jaden Burney playing in fields. Also came in to score as a pinch runner. In the seventh, total team effort for Mississippi State offensively, leading all three runs in the seventh. Danley goes down and strikes the third of the game for Wesley, one away. It's that off-speed rise ball. It is spinny, it is slower, and it is deceptive even right through the heart of the zone, but it's just so difficult to pick up. I and mean, what a nasty pitch for Aspen Wesley. And uh, Jenny Chester, the sophomore from Liberty, Missouri, will pitch it for Chantese Phillips in the eight hole. Chester had a pinch hit double, scoring two runs in game two. After coming into the series, one for her last 12. Hampered by an Achilles injury that, frankly, she's had to overcome all year long herself in and out of the starting lineup and now mainly coming off the bench as a hitter because of that injury and has an opportunity here to be the tying run and get aboard and pass the back to Kaylee Langer as Mizzou seeks its first SEC series sweep since 2022 Mississippi State in the driver's seat for the first time all weekend. Remember, they had trailed in each of the first two games, and then again here tonight, Missouri scoring first, as they had in the first two games of the series. But the Mississippi State offense that we've heard about all season long coming alive when it mattered most. I need to think it. And that's a called strike, and Chester couldn't believe it. I did not think that that was going to be a called strike at all. And Aspen Wesley gets the call. Wow. That's why I was starting to talk without you being able to call that strike out and play by play. But it did not look like a strike to me getting the bottom of the zone. And I guess every bit of that inside corner. And I mean, the whole game, that inside corner, just like that, has, has been there. So. So at this point, it's been established, and I can't go down looking at it. 
So now it's Wesley, one out away from snapping a four-game skid. By the way, Katie Chester was ejected after arguing the call with home plate umpire Chelsea Clark. Another look at it here. Punched out, looking, and then tossed. Langer looks at strike one. This was a game that felt almost must win for Mississippi State. Yes, they're ranked. Yes, they are a lot for the NCAA tournament. But things have just gotten off the rails for them a little bit after run ruling the top team in the SEC two weeks ago in Tennessee. Since then, they have not won an SEC game. They have lost four SEC games in a row, and we're steering down their first SEC series sweep until now. The 0-2 from Wesley. I mean, what? to your point, they're playing so well, and when you looked at their RPI and their strength of schedule and their big wins, you thought maybe this team has a chance at hosting a regional and grabbing a top 16 seed. And they started to feel that pressure. The expectations just started to feel like a lot on their shoulders. And you could see it with the results of their games. One and two to Langer. Should she get aboard, she will turn the lineup over to Jenna Laird, who has been a Mississippi State thorn in their side throughout her career, batting nearly 500 against the Bulldogs. The one-two to Langer is rolled down the line and foul. Also, we have some Staying fans the from the University of Missouri, like now. here, and, and well, also we have some fans from Mississippi State it's University. It's earlier in this game, Matt, that just a matter of time before Mississippi State's offense to get back to their winning ways. Good eye by Langer. 2-2. Two, two. Mississippi State coming into the series had not only lost back-to-back -back games to Tennessee, but they had also lost two games to Sanford and South Alabama. Both eyebrow raisers for folks like us in the media, fans around the country. But Samantha Ricketts knows her team and told us we just have to find ourselves again. They have been so aggressive, so loose all year long. One strike away from a win in game three. And Wesley will get it, shutting the door on the Tigers in state. As their 12th top 25 win of the season. Oh man, we lost on the last home game of the season. Wow. Wesley strikes out the and our side. score was two to three. Wow. Well, well, guys. We want to thank all the fans for everything at this place and. Good luck. And um, and we'll see you guys again in the next I mean, year. What a performance by her in this game and striking out the side with her off speed rise ball, getting that call right there with the rise right at the knees, and then this backdoor curve with rise action to it. Perfect pitch, Aspen Wesley. The senior leader who wants the ball in the circle to like Now that was, and this was our last home game of the regular season. I want to thank all the fans, anyone else, for coming out and support our softball team at the Missouri Softball Complex in Columbia, Missouri. Thank you to all of you for coming out and support. Kylie Edwards, a double with one out, passing the bat down the order. Montalasi Fa Pito in her first pinch hit appearance of the series driving in a run and then two more coming around to get Mississippi State the lead that they would ultimately hang on to taking game three from Missouri we're now joined by Nadia Barbary who had the game winning double driving in two runs Nadia your team